all right what's up what's up my pisces singles yes pisces is in the building like i always say um last but surely not least right <laughs> um i am doing your love uh singles for august 2019 um bothering me all right all right sorry folks i'm playing with the staying camera all right so um thank you for uh either if you're coming back to watch more or if you are new thank you for the view uh, go ahead and please press the like button on this video comment share if it resonates with you let me know who i'm tapping into if it doesn't and you want to dislike it that's fine too it's nothing but love um subscribe to the channel okay in the description box below my piscians there is my paypal information if you would like to donate to the channel it is much appreciated as well as the information to this love meditation vibration music that you hear um it's a youtube channel i do not own the rights to it but it is amazing um i thought i might as well use a love frequency right because we're talking about love send some positive love vibes out to you guys <laughs> um also this may or may not resonate with you because um you need to check your birth chart find out what your um sun rising moon and venus is in the description box i also have a link to a website that does birth charts where you can check out that information because like i'm a sagittarius but uh, my sun rising is in virgo my moon's in gemini and my cap i mean my venus is in capricorn so yes i'm all must messed up right so um you know when you were born that specific date and time the planets and the sun and the moon were aligned in a particular way okay so you are heavily influenced by other signs now that does not mean you can't walk around talking about it's pisces season because you know do what you want to do <laughs> but it does help and it gives you a little bit more clarity on your unique personality and why you do some of the things that you do um also down there i have all the decks uh the cards oracle cards that i'm using tonight and probably some more information that i am forgetting and that is all right just check the description box out you'll see <laughs> so my piscians let's get it started 2019 my singles wanting to know where's love why why is it come you got people in your dm you want to know what's up with them you talking on tinder you want to know what's up with them um <laughs> or your phone is crickets right now and you don't got nothing going on like you you ain't touching nobody in a minute you got a dry spell going on so this is for you or let's say you just broke up with someone let's say you could have just broke up with someone this is for you i also have um i had pre-shuffled one of the oracle cards i will read this in a moment I think i'm gonna read it in a moment um and i did do a pre-shuffle on the universal love cards um i have three so pick a number one two or three um it will have some guidance for you or it will answer a particular question that you're asking go with the first number that comes to mind don't sit and think about it too much um, because the longer you think about it the harder it is going to be first number comes to your mind one two or three pick it go okay so before I crack into the reading, let's um, let's just take a look at this Oracle card that came out for you, my Pisces, the Amorless Loot, which is, I do have the book because I do not know this by heart. All right, it says, you have won a victory, beloved, a victory over the past and the armorless, armorless blah, 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 loot is sounding through every cell of your being. Heralding your rising vibration as you leave fear behind you once again. In fact, the lute says you are growing fast and spiritually. You are outgrowing your old life even more so. 
When your vibration changes, so too does your life, beloved. This is natural. It is safe and loving for you to release that which no longer feels right for you. No matter how much it was important in your old life, it may not have the same place in your new life. Which is awesome because we all have to transform, right? Go from the old to the new. Boom! That's awesome. So just as a musical instrument can play notes at higher and lower vibrations, your own vibration is being refined as you are growing so fast spiritually. This is wonderful. Be brave as you trust that you are allowed indeed. You are spiritually encouraged to allow your vibration to continue rising even though that sometimes means leaving people, places, situation, and things behind. If it does not serve you no more, let it go, let it go, let it go. Some people and situations will grow with you at an equal pace. Others will meet you in the next upward spiral, spiral of your unfolding consciousness and life path. And still others will weigh you down and you will need to let them go so that they may live their own destiny according to their own choices and timing. The more you allow yourself to raise your vibration, no shine victorious in, the, in your journey from fear to peace the more you will be able to benefit from the quick unfoldment of your higher destiny in your life. The armless Luke calls you upwards into your own soul vibration, the healing instrument of the Divine Mother Goddess Kan Yin. All right. Beautiful way to start this reading, right? We already got transformation. We already got working on our vibrations. We are ascending to a higher consciousness. We are ascending to a higher vibration. We are letting old people go, old situations go. We are getting out of our negative past mindsets. We are letting negativity go and we were moving forward. And I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's see where you're at, Pisces. Right now, I hate swords. That makes fucking sense, right? <laughs> Because we're trying to let everything go right and right now at this point you're still in your mental prison. You are in your own mental prison. The Eight of Swords talks about, um, you know, your fears and worries and past hurts, past pain. Um, feeling like you can't do anything, but you are it's all you. It's all mental. Nobody else is holding you. You can get yourself out of it. You can push forward. You can change the way you think. You can be positive, but you have yourself sitting in this Eight of Swords. Okay, um, which I believe that is Gemini, 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 it might be Gemini, I think it's Gemini, you might be with a Gemini, you might have been with a Gemini and you might be talking to a Gemini, but the fact of the matter is you have yourself in this prison, nobody else is holding you, so we're already talking about transforming and raising our vibrations, letting shit go, moving forward, right? So this is something that you need to work on. And if you didn't notice that you were in this mindset, I hope this kind of was like that epiphany, like, oh shit, you know what? I have been, I have been sitting in this damn um, mindset, this the feeling like I'm trapped. You know, you're powerless. Um, it's like you, you're, you're just, you're sitting, t thinking of, of what I should have, could have, would have, did, you know, done in a situation. Um, you know, this also talks about, you could, be, you could be feeling ignorant, but you're blocking yourself. Um, you put boundaries up for no reason, or even if you thought you had a reason to put those boundaries up, they don't serve a purpose. Okay. It talks about difficulties, fears, and attachments, feeling stuck. You know, you need patience and persistence to overcome your situation. But you also need to make moves. You also need to make choices. Okay. Yes, this Gemini. Uh, this card is Gemini. So, again, this is a self-imposed restriction that you can get out of. So let's look at your challenge. Because I'm like, that's where you're at. Let's look at your challenge. Challenge or potential, which is justice. Justice can mean a lot of things. You know, we always go to like justice and we go to courts and maybe some of you are right now. Your challenge is maybe you're coming out of a divorce because this is the challenge right here. Um, and this could be meaning a divorce lawsuit. Um, now, let's stay in love. 
or not looking at career right now or looking at love so maybe this is um a beautiful card too it just so maybe this is a, a divorce right now maybe you are going through a divorce right now um it also um talks about a spiritual union a spiritual or divine kind of union a divine partnership um so to me challenge or potential could also be potential that you potentially have a divine partnership coming your way um but of course if you don't get out of that mindset you are not going to see it right no ma'am or sir so of course the justice card talks about being fair and responsible making clear decisions you know you understand cause and effect you um it's the centering of your life and the equilibrium um equality moving away from extremes and of course that could be in your challenges because if you're stuck in the eight of swords you're you wouldn't be you wouldn't be um balanced you wouldn't be um being decisive or making decisions right and it does talk about libra energy so you very well could have been dealing with a libra but it doesn't have to be remember the signs don't really matter i say them just because i know people are curious and want to hear them but it really doesn't matter because you got to look at the attributes of the situation does it sound like your situation or it doesn't if it doesn't resonate that's fine this message is does is not meant for you there are tons of readers on there and i know one will because even i listen to other readers to gain clarity on some stuff when i'm feeling like i just can't my heart my heart and my mind just keep combating and i just like i know my intuition is screaming but what the hell i i just can't my heart my mind just keep keep going so you know if this might not be for you so anywho um so definitely look for ways to bring balance in your life okay so let's look at your foundation what's what's going on in your foundation so your foundation is really good that's the ten of cups which is like the ultimate happiness you know the dog the home the fireplace the freaking cat and dog are in harmony chilling all the cups are filled with love you know I believe that's Pisces energy your energy so it's like your far as your feelings go and love goes and, and what you see and what you want like you know what you want you know you want this ten of cups this is your foundation this is what you're building on um you just got to get out of your headspace like your headspace is is preventing you from attracting that love or you know if you split up from someone going back to that love um your mindset like which is crazy because you actually have a whole bunch of love, you know, ready, ready, ready to over explode. <laughs> All right. So the Ten of Cups, um, which is, is like mutual love. It's like you're ready to lo love and you're ready to get love. It's happiness, tranquility, it's unity, you know, it's trusting. And trust is hard to trust someone, right? To give your trust into another, that is hard. It's sharing, it's family. So your foundation is solid. You are ready. Well, parts of you is ready. We won't say all of you is ready because your mindset, your ego has got you trapped up here. You know, you can't get your divine partnership and your happiness because you're trapped in your head you know this talks about um definitely harmony in personal relationships it does also talk about friendships growing into love so maybe you have a friend that you guys you know don't it's not really dating but you guys love each other a lot and maybe you've been thinking of you know taking it to an, another level with that person Maybe you're scared. Maybe you're trapped in your head about it and you're scared about it. You know? But this is your energy, Pisces. All you got to do is get out of that headset. Your, that headset. And um, 
focus you're going in the right in the right direction all right let's take a look at your past what what's in your current past ace of swords all right so i'm starting to see a lot of swords popping up i don't i don't you know swords can be sharp but then again swords can be good because it's clarity um it's clear decisions you know um it's making decisions um the thing about the ace being in reverse and this is past so this could have been past of what you were feeling and i like the the ace of swords it's very beautiful it's got these eagles are they hawks maybe eagles probably eagles um but you know it has this beautiful sword and i always refer to the tip pointing like into heaven if you believe in god jesus or you're spiritual or it's allah buddha whatever it is it does not matter it is all the same it is all out of love this point is pointing to the divine and then you have this point pointing down to the material world and i feel like that is that divine information and that intuition coming to you telling you what's right in front of you and decisions to make and like this is definitely an offer of swords is communication and and um an offer coming but it being in reverse means that either you were not ready to offer yourself or offer someone a partnership or they were not ready so i mean i am going to clarify a little bit and we'll kind of see if we can see if we can uh, get it it also talks about slander so like let's say you were in a partnership you broke up and you know how people do they jump on the internet they start bashing the other person and, and you know that can that can fuck your head up because then you're like dang now you got to go through all this extra bullshit because social media is is crazy everyone wants to put all their problems on social media right it also talks about being um like an injustice and to me that speaks to me because the justice card is out here so two ways that i see that is that you fucked up your relationship and there's an injustice with the situation because you couldn't um put in or you stepped out on it or the other person stepped out and you feel like you have an injustice um and that's why this is in your challenge because you feel betrayed and you feel like there should be justice in that person in that um situation and that's why you couldn't offer because the person was real um it also talks about obstacles so maybe there were a lot of obstacles um now if you were in this headspace that's one of your obstacles was sitting in ego um but it also talks about having unnecessary conflict and to me when you're talking about relationships party partnerships or, or talking to people unnecessary conflict is like when someone doesn't text you back and you like start going in <laughs> that you don't even know what happened you just start going in um or when you're like jealous and it's like who were you with what were you doing that kind of thing unnecessary conflict it also talks about being unstable like maybe you weren't in a position in the past to offer yourself up to this other person um maybe you didn't feel like you were stable enough or it could be the other way and this goes either way because this is it does this is not male or female it's not gender specific it could be either way so they could have been like they weren't in a stable place and they didn't feel like they were in a stable place to offer you anything more than what they could but it also talks about weakness of will and when i think of weakness of will i think of someone who falls into temptation or um if you have addictions whether it be food alcohol drugs sex gambling whatever your whatever those addictions is that's what i think of when i think of weakness of will that that definitely could prevent you from having your happy home that you truly want you truly want your happy home but you're not going to get it because you you your weakness of character you don't have the will to stand up and fight for what you truly want to which to me ties into the justice okay and that's something you got to work on
Now, it does talk about winter, I believe, on this card. So that could have that could have happened this past winter that passed. Um, that could have been what what happened, or that divorce took place in winter, or the breakup took place in winter. But prepare to move forward in new directions with new ideas. You gotta change the way you think. And if someone did hurt you, you need to forgive them and move on. Because you're you're trapping yourself with all the bullshit. But let's take a look at what's crowning your thoughts, okay? Let's see what's crowning your thoughts. nine of cups again trying to get to your happy place your family unconditional love partnerships abundance that's almost to the 10 you know that's that you're 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 ready for love so i don't get if you are so ready you got it in your foundation and you got it in your thoughts pisces about love and happiness and emotion and and togetherness and family in abundance why the hell are you still here in the eight of swords unless your happiness is in a relationship because that's the only other thing I can think of right now and this will unfold as we go this is not everybody but some of you your happiness your ten of cups your happiness your emotion is in a marriage with somebody else and you were in your head about it. And that's why you couldn't get an offer in the past. Because they were already taken. They were already in a, in a relationship. And I will just say I know it is hard when it comes to soulmates. And it comes to twin flames. Because the pull and the intensity of the relationship. The partnership is so fucking strong. That sometimes you feel like you're going crazy. I, I get that part. But it is not up to you to break up that that partnership it is up to that person to recognize your soul connection or your twin flame connection and they end their karmic cycle and begin with you where you guys should be but again all you can do is release them and move on if that is the case okay or you were in a marriage and your soulmate came but you couldn't get with them at the time because you were in your marriage. And now maybe they're seeing somebody else now. Maybe you see them on social media now. Maybe you got some information on social media or, you know, because a lot of people stalk. You know, it is what it is. People stalk. You guys know it. And you see that they're with someone. And now you don't you don't have that chance now. Now you're like, dang, is my chance gone? And this is also Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. So you're like really coming out in your own fucking reading. I just don't get why you can't why why you can't have love. Like what what which stuck, but I guess this'll this'll keep coming out. But it does talk about loyalty. So you're ready. You're ready to be loyal to someone. It's talking about liberty, freeing yourself from whatever happened in the past it talks about being successful and completions once you get to the 10 that's the completion of a cycle and you get to move on you know it's emotional happiness joy it's also material comfort it's like the the full abundance it's not just emotions um but it is also material comfort contentment being happy and this is what's on your mind this is what you want this is what you're hoping for this is what you're what you're thinking of it's on your mind heavily heavily okay so in the near future six of wands we're definitely gonna have to clarify that because six of wands is when you feel feeling successful and people are noticing your success and they're looking up at you and looking towards you and maybe you're um maybe you're getting a little famous on social media like maybe you have your own business or um maybe you have a web page i don't know but like people eyes are on you now 
it being in reverse tells me that there's a dissolute you're still in a dissolute disillusioned you're still in a in probably this headset and that's not good because this is your near future but it talks about backstabbing so maybe you need to watch who you have around you overbearing pride if you're still stuck in ego right and that pride that that's why you, you you're um that's why you're still single when you really want to be in a relationship but if you're holding on to that pride like f that i'm not going i'm not going to talk to that person they did me wrong i'm not going to forgive them they win you lose because you're sitting in ego this has to be worked on you got to get out of this mindset this does talk about leo energy okay so it really shouldn't matter what others think and so if this is one of those cases where your pride keeps you in a place where you care what other people think whether it's your family your friends um you got to get out of that mindset because at the end of the day it is your life and it is your happiness and your friends and your family aren't the ones living it <laughs> they're living their own life and they're living their own happiness and a lot of people tend to give you advice um, as an outsider but you are the one inside your life living it with your emotions and so you cannot sit there and give two shits on what anyone else thinks you need to make decisions for your happiness and move on people are always going to have shit to talk and say who fucking cares don't live for other people don't care what other people think when you make a move or you date someone or maybe the person you like is a full-figured woman so fucking what date them show her off that's your boo let it be your boo you know fuck what your boys think or if it's the other way around and you're the chick and you're into this and i don't want to just say like oh it's a nerdy guy or whatever whatever it, it's just someone who's the opposite where you know your friends are going to talk shit you know your friends or your family are going to have something to say so fucking what let them talk be happy with whoever it is you're going to be happy with okay all right let's take a look at your um your attitude right now in your situation right now you are at the page of swords in reverse or your well i would say your attitude <laughs> so right now you, it's like you're not communicating because the page of swords to me is someone who is bringing information you know she brings information to you so it's kind of like you're not communicating you're not you're not going um Maybe you're not speaking to someone that you want to speak to. Maybe you're just closed off from everyone and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to stay in my head. But that's not good either. That's not good either. Communicate, talk. If you want to reach out, out to someone, reach out to them. Who cares? But they talk about the Page of Swords in reverse is being self-critical. So again, with um, sitting there talking about the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Oh, I should have did this. Well, you still have fucking time to do it. It's not too late. It's never too late. If the other person that you're thinking about is alive and well, it's not too late. Because I feel like if it's a true soul connection, no matter who they're talking to, if it's true, you guys will get your second chance. But it does also talk about being stubborn, insecure, you know? How are you going to be able to talk to somebody that you like or even start a new relationship when you're insecure about yourself? And so whatever happened, if you're insecure because somebody cheated on you, broke your heart, made you feel like shit, and now you're like, well, now you're questioning yourself. Was I enough? Was I enough man? Was I enough woman for them? Get out of that headspace because it wasn't about you. It was all them. And once you get out of that headspace and love yourself, you can move on and receive love again. And that person who truly loves you, who truly sees you from head to toe, will come. 
you know? And then you're like, damn, where have you been all my life? <laughs> you know? So you got to get out of that headspace. Let's take a look at um, if there's any people um, influencing the situation or things you don't know. So we got the Page of Wands in reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign. Or, or, just kind of look at it for what it is. Because we got Justice over here. It kind of looks like we had like either someone in a relationship committed or a marriage. And the Page of Wands could be a fire sign. And especially if it's in the position of things that you didn't know or don't know, um, maybe that person you were dealing with, you know, was with a fire sign. Or maybe that fire sign is the cause of all of this bullshit, you know, where because it could also be people influencing the situation. So, which fire signs are what? Aries, Leo, and Sag. Sagis. No, I, don't, I still don't like, I don't know if I like that yet. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius, so I don't, I don't really know if I like Sagis. And I hear a lot of readers say it, and I ended up I end up saying it all the time, and then I, I catch myself, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the Page of Wands in reverse talks about someone being flighty, like in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, scattered, overactive, rash, or, or gossiping. So this could be someone you have around you who is, you know, making you feel like shit about the situation. And like I said, whether, and I'm not judging whether it was you who messed up or someone who messed up, um, if people are, are putting you down for whatever you chose to do in the situation, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> because you're the one who has to live with your consequences and your own karma. You know, no one should have to sit and chastise you for something you chose to do because you felt it was the right thing at the time. Whether it was temptation, whether it was a true soulmate, whether it was a twin flame that pulled you in, it doesn't matter. No one should have you feeling like that. You know, because the page talks about getting things started, getting things done. And to me, this is communication also that's at a halt. We're not communicating. And I kind of get the feeling looking at the spread Pisces that you want to communicate with someone. You know, you want your Ten of Cups, your happiness, your happy home. But for some reason, communication is, is at a halt. St stuck. So let's take a look at hopes and fears. A lot of cups coming out hopes and fears we got the six now six of cups talks about that longing um you know, thinking of of kind of like what you want and picturing this dream um family and home life you know it's kind of looking at things that in this kind of youthful with youth, youthful eyes, you know, it also talks about um, having patience, the gain and pleasure, happiness, but your longing, you know, the hope of either repairing a relationship that's broken, because I do see that very heavily, there was a relationship. So it's either the longing for repairing that that relationship with this person and we do have could be another water sign could be another Pisces could be fire sign could be air sign could be Libra um, but it's that longing to repair or it's the longing to just get past this shit that happened that fell apart and start and find someone new find your true soulmate find your true path um so it could be that so let's take a look at your possible outcome possible outcome strength in reverse Pisces why we got strength in reverse huh which is Leo sign of Leo strength is a major arcana card arcana a little little 
and that's the second one. We have justice, which is one, and then we have strength, which is one, um, which is good. Everything else is is it's not bad, and we will I will um, do some clarifying in a minute. Now we know the strength card is that strength. It's having the strength to get through of all this shit, right? It's having the strength to push forward when all you want to do is not. You know, it's having the strength to face your fears, face the unknown. Talk to someone you, you don't think might want to talk to you, whether or not they say yes or no, but it's having the strength to do it. But the strength card in reverse is someone who is sitting in a um, energy of being a know-it-all. You know, this is when e you're sitting in ego still. You're being conceited, vengeful, vengeful even. If you're mad at this situation, like this was a person who stepped out on you and you're mad, well, yeah, you would, you would be, you know. It also talks about misfortune. So, I don't like that as your possible outcome. I we gotta we gotta change this. I feel like this is pride. I feel like this is if you don't work on some of these things, you're gonna be sitting in, in pride and ego, and pride and ego is not gonna bring you your ten of cups. You're gonna miss out on probably a good relationship with someone, or repairing a um. And like I said, when I see justice, justice is a divine union. So I feel like whatever this union was, re regardless to what happened. Um, regardless to how it got messed up, it's a divine union that you're going to be sitting in ego and you're going to pass it up and you're going to miss your your happy home, your ten of cups, your true love, what you really want. Because you're, you're sitting in ego. And with all of that, of course, you're not going to be happy. Your life is not going to be happy because I don't give a fuck how much money you make. You already know money isn't everything. Money is not going to make you happy. Look all the rich people, right? All the rich people that have killed themselves by blowing their fucking brains out or pills or, you know. Because all the money in the world is not happiness. You can, you can have all the money, but if you do not have that divine companionship, that soulmate, that person next to you fulfilling your heart, nothing else is going to do it okay so let's do some clarifying real quick right all right let's clarify this eight of swords what um even though i pre-shuffled these already I do have a little book on these because um, these, um, some of them have some different meanings to the traditional decks. So I definitely like to bring all of what it says. Um, but we know that sometimes the Seven of Pentacles is looking at, it's looking at what we have planted. Everything that we planted, we've been working on. And then, you know, it's kind of like, well, it didn't fall through. Everything that I was working so hard to make, it didn't happen. All the seeds that I planted died. And that could be tying into this relationship, this past relationship. And then you're sad. You're sad and you're and you're sorrowful about it because you're like, wow, for one moment I thought it was going great and then crash and burn. So it's short-lived success. It does say the rewards from your hard work may be limited. This is a good reminder reminder not to put all your eggs in one basket so whether that's pertaining to maybe it was something with work or finances or something like that 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 also has you in your headspace let me get one more 
um or the fact you know when you're dealing with a divorce that will definitely fuck up the finances right because everything that you put in everything that you guys built now you have to split and sometimes that doesn't go well um you know alimony child support especially if they were kids involved in it right um and these pages could represent kids if kids are involved all right we got the queen of cups now the queen of cups definitely could be you pisces because that is a water sign or it could be the person you were with because there is cancer in scorpio um, but it doesn't have to be it could just represent um a person who is in tune with their emotions because the queen of cups is in tune with their emotions um they're very nurturing as well so that could be the person that you were dealing with or this could be you you know we have feminine and masculine um energy so it definitely could be you but it talks about the queen of cups um being the nurturer um you know it actually says sipping on some chamomile chamomile tea and some of you are sipping that tea right now watching this shit <laughs> she reminds you to slow down and taste your food being busy is so overrated so even though it's queen of cups i think this more relates to um whatever happened with your finances and maybe you are too focused on your money right now that you are missing the big picture sometimes we are focused on money and career and then we forget about the smaller things the small the people in our life the people that we love and, and time just keeps going and then we don't even realize that we have neglected our relationships and, and the people around us so take that time to appreciate the people around you relax enjoy them because even though on the other end of it where where time it doesn't matter you know time is fluid when you go into the divine or you ascend or you leave this planet but here in the material world all we fucking worry about is time and we don't have forever together in this life so you have to make the best of it okay let's clarify this uh justice why are you here for pisces justice why is the justice here for pisces Alright, I got Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Full Card in reverse. Alright, so the Six, I said Six of Swords, right? Six of Swords in reverse in this book says, Blocked, stuck in a routine, fear of the unknown, which makes sense after whatever was going on or this breakup being stuck or blocked unsure of what's going to happen unsure of what the divorce unsure of what's going to happen with your money in the divorce tied to a queen of pinnacle queen of pentacles this could have been the person that you were with uh pentacles is earth earth you could have been an earth virgo um capricorn taurus um, could be one of those signs doesn't have to be male or female just as queen but you could they could have just been in their feminine energy uh, very emotional um but that could be you know your money is tied into with this uh taurus capricorn or virgo and then the queen of pentacles in reverse says sacrificial lack of balance it says notice the amount of energy you are giving and receiving is it in balance and that's crazy that it says that because it ties in into the justice libra libra being balance of you trying to balance your life after all of this um with the unknowing and your finances and it's just trying to gain that kind of confidence in in okay here i'm here i'm not juggling i'm not going crazy i'm, I'm I have my direct purpose of where i'm going um the queen of pentacles is the person you call when you're feeling under the weather so this could be the person you're dealing with or it could just be talking about um
I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, the fool <laughs> in reverse. My mind went blank. So it's probably something that they're like, no, that's not important. Thank you, spirits and the divine. Okay, so we know the fool card is kind of that inner child fresh start. But when it is in reverse, it is you're hesitant. You're hesitant to start new. You're lacking the confidence to start new. So whatever happened, you're, like I said, you're sitting in this headset, Pisces, and, and you are you don't want to start new. You're stuck. There's a need for a new beginning. Like this ended, you know, and maybe some of you have a chance to get this partnership back. I'm not saying that that's completely gone, but you do have the justice there, and that's kind of a divine influence. Um, I do feel like this is a completion, whatever this was. Um... It's ended and now it's time to move forward. Um, it says, this card indicates new spiritual beginnings. Sometimes this, card's, this card can mean change is coming, whether you want it or not, this fool card. So whether you want change to come, whether you want this divorce to come, whether you want this partnership to end, some of you have no choice. Some of you are going to have to deal with it. Because the person that you want, the person you are interested in, is not in love with you. And I know that's hard to hear because we all want to hear something else, right? We want to know that we're, the people we're looking at were their loves of their lives. So I think the past Pisces probably should stay in the past. And move forward to get your Ten of Cups, but... Let's see what what's going on. Why is this Ten of Cups your your um and your foundation? It's Ten of Cups for Pisces. Why is it here? How did I get all these cards turned upside down? Hold up, I gotta start again. All right, Ten of Cups, Pisces. Why are you here? Ten of Cups, Pisces. Why are you here? Ten of Cups for Pisces. Got the hangman i love the hangman in this deck because it talks about you know there's a cat caterpillar and this is the white sage tarot you know it has this cal cat i never can say the fucking word caterpillar caterpillar um and it talks about transformation so you are definitely going to have to transform after this major shit that, that you just been through pisces you are going to have to transform. So whether this is something that happened recently or this is something that happened years ago, but it's definitely something that is still on your mind and affecting your money and affecting your current um, ability to have relationships, okay? But it talks about reflection time and crossroads. And I think that's why your Ten of Cups is in this place as well, because you are reflecting on what you really want. And you're probably reflecting on what didn't happen in this partnership that you thought was going to be your ten of cups, but it wasn't. You know, this partner that you had here, it, it didn't it didn't work out that way. Um But sometimes you just have to be still. It's kinda like that that hermit moment where be still, reflect, look at the lessons and move on. Okay? Let's see what this Ace of Swords, Swords in the past. Ace of Swords. Why are you here? Ace of Swords. Why? Nope, that's too many. I can take all those. Ace of Swords. All right. Chariot movement. Hmm. So the two things that kind of really stand out to me being with the chariot popping out is that this new this offer couldn't happen you know and of course we all know the chariot is another divine kind of hand in the pot pushing us towards our destiny right so even though this could have been a partnership that at one point was serving your greater good for both of you um, it wasn't meant to be forever, okay? 
so you had to move away from it it was probably toxic it was probably a bunch of bullshit and arguing you know after the math because at one point you guys were in love at one point you cherished each other but then somebody wasn't on the same page and that's what kind of happens two people are not on the same page whether it's finances whether you know um whether it's the type of of love in the relationship emotional stability um definitely there there so there was definitely there wasn't um, an equal give and take and with the Libra and the Justice there also with that, that kind of balance it makes me feel like there wasn't balance in this partnership. Somebody was giving more than the other and so someone got sick of it, you know, so they left. They're like, I'm outro. I don't got time for this. I'm going to find someone who loves me. And not that you didn't love them or they didn't love you, but it's just I'm going to find someone willing to reciprocate. I'm going to find someone who's willing to give and take. I'm going to find someone who's willing to be all in with me in the, in a partnership. And this chariot talks about karma. So this is definitely the end of a karmic cycle, which we've already said with divine. This is divine hands in here, kind of shaking things up and making you guys see that this partnership served you for a moment and it was good. Take the lessons and now it's time to move on. This wasn't meant for you forever. Um, it also talks about um, action, movement. When the chariot turns up, your path is cleared. It's the yin and the yang horses coming in because you know true soulmates, you guys are yin and yang. You know, and this is kind of, to me, it just speaks of the kind of like the divine, whether you want to think of God, angels, whoever it is coming in and kind of pushing, um, pushing you or pushing the other person. Um, that's basically what it is so you can get to your yin and your yang um, the chariot has energy and motivation so moving forward is crystal clear and s somebody in this understood that somebody's out in the dark probably you because you're in your headspace wondering like what the fuck happened or it could be the opposite well no that's you because we were talking about swords as you and maybe that other person was very clear, very clear on what they want, very clear on what they need. And now you're like, what like what the hell is going on? But let's um clarify the nine of cups. Any thoughts? What else is in your thoughts? Pisces. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Partnership wealth finances in a partnership so you are definitely thinking about having that you just gotta find your yin and your yang you gotta find your your soulmate and you gotta be open you gotta be open to this this soulmate, cause I I got the feeling when we come over here, you're not even open to it. You're thinking about it, but are you truly ready, Pisces, for new love? So, Two of Pentacles also talks about juggling. So you could be juggling the idea of your happiness and your finances, or you could have multiple people in your mind or you could be thinking about how in this um relationship you were juggled or you juggled other people it could possibly go both ways i gotta say it all um but it does say that you may have a few balls in the air but you are dexterous and swift as with all twos this card can point to a connection with another person so even though it talks about juggling, sometimes it's just trying to juggle career and family and home. Like if you have kids, well, how do you make time for each other? Or if you're, let's say you're an entrepreneur and, you know, entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur takes a lot of your time. You know, like I freaking still work a full time job. I'm a writer. I do this and I'm doing this YouTube channel. I am up to about two o'clock in the morning every day. And then you're like, well, shit, when do I just get time to be with a significant other? But with all of that, you have to make time 
you have to put in time with your partner for it to succeed. You have to, otherwise it fades. Otherwise somebody else comes and they give them attention and then they're lacking and what they're lacking that other person brings to them. You wanna hold on to someone you have to put in the time. So let's clarify uh, the Six of Wands in reverse. Why are you here? Ooh. Okay, cards are just jumping out. Nine of Wands on the Six of Wands in reverse. All right, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands in reverse. In this book, it talks about, of course, being hesitant on edge. The Nine of Wands in reverse suggests you aren't as confident as others seem on the outside. You need to pick your battles. When in doubt, start with compassion for yourself and share it with others. Well, that makes sense why you're the, because Six of Wands is like, you know how others see you. You're standing in your confidence. You're being praised. And then you have the Nine of Wands and, and, and you're not feeling that you're, you know, you're, um, you're not confident. You're not standing in, in your power. And it's probably because of all this. You're feeling like you lost, you lost out. Maybe you feel like you lost this Queen of Pentacles. Or it could be a guy. It doesn't have to be a girl. It could be either way. And now you're not as confident as you used to be. And, and you don't know what you're supposed to do. You don't know how to change to get your happiness. Um, but I think it's more of you just letting this go and not dwelling on what didn't happen. Don't dwell on what you didn't have. If this is you and your partner left you for someone else, don't dwell on what that other person has. Or their features or their attributes because I'm telling you none of that it, what what goes down to is the soul connection and then there are some other factors that play into it like likes um, common goals common you know uh, hobbies yeah that plays a big a big factor but the deepest factor is that soul connection so don't sit and think about what that other person has or what you don't have or that you weren't enough woman for them or you weren't enough man for them. Don't don't sit and do that. Get Build your confidence. You have to work on self-love. You have to love yourself for every crack, crevice, stretch mark, pot belly, everything. You have to love yourself for it all and come into your power and say, you know what, no matter what I look like, I love every bit of me. Okay, so let's um, see why this page of swords is here in reverse. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, you feeling like you lost, you lost your love. You feeling like you lost your love, Pisces. If this is really this deep, where you feel like this is the love that you lost, you need to go get that person, male or female. The lover's card always speaks to me as um, like twin flame and soulmates. But unfortunately, when the lover's card is in reverse, it also talks about um, un, you know, um, being star-crossed lovers, which is love not, not being a divine union. Um, but let's see what this one in this book, the lover says... Um, communication breakdown even when it shows up in reverse it is still a positive omen the intensity is only a bit weaker than if it was upright so in this deck the lover still means that soul connection that twin flame connection and if this is your twin flame or your soulmate whatever happened that they got away you need to go to me i feel like you need to go fight for them <laughs> you need to drop your ego and like go get your queen or king of pentacles like what the fuck are you doing sometimes the divine has to shake shit up to make you realize that you had a soul connection in front of you and then you have to see them with someone else and realize like fuck i i had that person the whole time the whole time and this is your attitude in in the situation right so you're looking at it as you've lost your love you've lost your twin flame and your soulmate 
you know right now your attitude is your communication is is broken you're not open to communication but you know damn well this this past person and I know we're on a singles this is supposed to be for singles but I have tapped into someone who is really you're really thinking about this past person some of you are really thinking about your past people and you're not over it and for for good reason because it's a true twin flame it's a true soul connection and that is something that can't be broken that is something that even if this person did move on and is with somebody else i guarantee you that they still think about you all the fucking time and they get mad at themselves because they still think about you and they're probably looking at their new partner like i love this person this person is great but why the fuck can i stop thinking about that my past person you guys are thinking the same shit um all right page of wands all right page of wands all right page of wands page of wands <sighs> four of wands and we know four of wands is that happiness that happy home that connection marriage I, I love it because to me it's the marriage card um and this is in the either people influencing your situation or things you don't know i don't like to see the four of wands in reverse but let's see what this book says because some of these meanings like i said are are kind of different sometimes it doesn't it's not as bad as the traditional decks so before i get all crazy and be like no you know could it, it might not even be that bad so four of wands in reverse in this deck it says communication difficulty there may be some communication challenges when this happens sit down and have the hard talks with important people in your life you'll be glad you did so to me, this is saying that all you have to do is go fucking talk to this person, Pisces. Like, real shit. This person is your Ten of Cups. This person is your Divine Union. You already got a Queen on the board. You got the fucking Lovers on the board. You guys might even have kids already or not. The pages could be kids or not. They don't have to be. There's a lot of Cups on here. You got the freaking Chariot, which is another Major Arcana card. Two of Pentacles on the top of your thought. Nine of Cups in your mind. You're thinking about the partnership. And I mean, you are thinking. There is nothing else you're thinking about right now. Besides maybe a little bit of money. But you are heavily thinking about this, this partnership that, that got away. Oh, Pisces, what are you doing? Alright, let's, <laughs> let's clarify this Six of Cups over here. Pisces, this Six of Cups. Ooh, why are you? Six of Cups with another Six of Cups. <laughs> and this is in your hopes and fears. This is Six of Cups in reverse. So the Six of Cups in reverse in this deck is um, naive. Living in the past. Come on, Pisces. Come on. Work with me. You may feel stuck in the past. You may be too trusting. Be aware of others taking advantage of you. Hmm. So some of you needed to hear that. Think, you know, the people around you. Maybe influencing your decisions. Maybe having some shit to say about this partnership. And, you know, however it is. You know, maybe the family doesn't like this person. Or um, friends don't like them or whatever. But... To me, it, it just feels like you still really want this person. You don't. It's not like you even want anything new. Everything is going back to this fucking relationship over here. Nothing is moving forward. Nothing is going. Even though you're thinking about family and, and partnerships, I don't think you're thinking about anything new here. I think you're thinking about what you had over here. And I, I don't think that you that it's out of your grasp. I think you still have time to get it. You just have to want it. And you need to go for it. Let's look at the strength card. Strength card in reverse for 
possible outcome. Strength card can reverse for, ooh, okay. Five of Pentacles. And the sun in reverse. And we all know what the sun is, right? So this love of your life was your sun. And of course, your sun would be upside down if you do not have this person anymore. <sighs> Pisces, I, I'm like starting to feel your dis not dis I won't say despair, but I'm starting to feel your longing for this person. And it's so fucking strong. Like I it's so strong that I don't understand why you're not opening up com communication even if this person stepped out on you and cheated because again there's all reasons of why people do stupid shit right reasons now if this is not a situation pisces where this person was abusing you i feel like it's something that you two can overcome if they weren't putting hands on you they weren't raping you they were abusing you um it wasn't violent they weren't stealing from you um being shits to your kids if you have kids i feel like it's nothing that you can't overcome and, and you guys get back together and have your second chance because i feel like whoever this is some of some of you whoever this is it's a true divine union um so we have the five of pentacles come out first and the five of pentacles talks about overcoming obstacles moving on yes how the fucking luya pisces <laughs> moving on over you